So in electrochemistry, we are going to learn about the quantitative application of electrolysis. So you will learn about Faraday's laws also. Faraday's law of electrolysis that states that the mass of the substance formed at an electrode is proportional to the amount of electricity transferred at the electrode. And it also says that the mass of the substance formed at an electrode is proportional to its molar mass. And the amount of electric electricity, so what do you mean by the, what is the electricity, amount of electricity? Amount of electricity is the quantity of electrical charge and that is measured in coulombs. Now let's see how we translate into a numerical problems. Let's deal with the steps involved in calculating mass of a substance produced at the electrode based on the Faraday's law. The first step is calculate the charge in coulombs. And the charge in coulombs is usually calculated by multiplying the current in amperes uh, by the time in seconds. So note down the units. Current should be in ampere, time should be in second. And the product of these two is the charge in the unit of coulombs. And the step two is it to calculate the moles of the electron transfer. So for that, remember the relation. One mole of electron is transferred by a charge of 96500 coulombs. And the step 3 is convert these moles of electrons to moles of product formed using the moles of electrons in the cell reaction. So we need the cell reaction for it. And step 4 will be in case if they have asked about uh, grams of product, convert the moles of the product into grams of product using the molar mass. For the reduction reaction, Fe3 plus plus 3 electrons giving you Fe. A part is calculate the moles of Fe3 plus reduced to Fe when a charge of 86850 coulombs is used. And for the B part, we are asked to calculate the coulombs of charge needed to reduce 0.52 moles of Fe3 plus to the Fe metal. So there, let's start with the A part. So <coughs> using the um, Faraday's equation, the moles of Fe plus will be equal to uh, we know that one mole of electron is transferred by 96500 coulombs and the amount of charge over here is 86850. So we start with the whatever is uh, given that is 86850 coulombs. So multiplied by one mole uh, electron divided by 96500 coulombs. This will give me the moles of electron and then uh, if you look at the equation for uh, every three moles of electron I get one mole of Fe formed and therefore the moles of uh, and uh, one mole of Fe formed and one mole of Fe3 plus are reduced also. Therefore moles of Fe3 plus is equal to 0 0.3. So the B part is similar to the A part but in this case the moles are given they have asked for coulombs. So start with the same concept. The charge will be convert the moles into charge first and uh, First, uh, so in order to do that, they have given you the moles of Fe3 plus. So convert the moles of Fe3 plus to moles of electrons from the equation. And from the moles of electrons, we know that one mole of electron is produced by a charge of 96500. Put it into the uh, equation and I get the charge as 1.5 in coulombs as 1.5 into the power of 5. A current of 3.5 amperes flow through a cell for 14 hours. Calculate the number of Faraday's transfer and it's given that 1 Faraday is equal to 96500 coulombs. So what is the first thing we do is uh, the, we, uh, the number of Faraday's is calculated as given there and we are multiplying the current amperes by the time and the unit of time should be second. Therefore the current ampere second, the product of ampere second is equal to coulombs. And to this part, if you uh, multiply by the relation between Faraday and coulombs, I get the answer in Faraday. Calculate the moles of AU formed when a current of 3.0 ampere is passed for 15 minutes through an aqueous solution of AuCl3. And the equation given is AU3 plus plus the electron giving you AU. So what we do is to calculate the moles. The first step we do is the calculation of ampere second. So that's what is given in the black 
R color there. Then convert the ampere seconds to coulombs. They are given in red color. Then uh, the coulombs is converted to moles of electron, the one in blue color. And the moles of electrons are converted to moles of gold using the equation. And the moles of gold is calculated as 0 0.03. Calculate the grams of copper formed when a current of 2 ampere is passed through, passed for 15 hours through an aqueous solution of copper nitrate. This is again similar to the previous one. So from uh, uh, first calculate the amp seconds, from the amp second convert it into coulombs, and from coulombs calculate the moles of electron, and from moles of electron get the moles of copper. And uh, the number of electrons tra uh, transferred will be 2. That's why we have 2 moles of electron there. And the copper moles comes as 2.2. And we know that uh, by multiplying by the molar mass, I can get the grams of copper. That comes as 139.7. Calculate the current in amperes needed to pass through a solution of silver nitrate for 1.0 hours to produce 55 grams of silver metal. So, it's similar to the previous question, but in this case, they have asked you for how much of current we need. So, we need the amount of uh, current. Therefore, start with what is given now. They have given you 55 grams of silver. So, convert the 55 grams of silver to moles of silver. Then, from the moles of silver, convert it into moles of electron. And the moles of electron is then converted into coulomb. One, and we know that the relation between coulombs and amp second and one coulomb is one amp second and then from the amp second convert it into uh, amperes by dividing it by the uh, time in seconds. So the final, if you cancel all the units, the final answer will be in the unit of amperes and the current we get are 7.59 amps.